Hello, and welcome to Module 2 of Engineering Project Management, Initiating and Planning. In this module, we will be discussing project organizations and processes. We will look at how projects are organized and then discuss the processes that make up a project. In the last module, we reviewed the nature of a project, what is project management and why is it important, the phases of a project, the role of the project manager, and last, we reviewed the process for making ethical decisions as well as the PMI Code of Ethics. So now you've been made the manager of a project. What now? What's next? The first thing you want to do is get organized. This course is about initiating and planning a project. This is the getting started part of project management. You want to follow the processes outlined in this course to set up and plan your project. One of the first steps in this journey is setting up a project organization. As part of this module, we'll look at the most prevalent types of project organizations. We will also review the strengths and weaknesses of each type and discuss how you might select the project organization that's best for your project. There are other project organizations besides the ones we will discuss that can and have been used successfully. However, in the interest of time, we will limit ourselves to the most prevalent organization types. At the end of this module, you should be able to discuss how an organization's culture and style may impact your project organization decision, identify the most prevalent organizational structures, discuss the pros and cons of each structure for your project, identify the project management processes, discuss the role of knowledge areas in your execution, and finally, understand the role of a project manager as a leader. At the end of this module, you will select and prepare your own project organization chart based on a case study that has been provided. So let's get started and take a look at the different project organization types. 